Fretum Radio. I'm Matt Micucci from the 77th Venice International Film Festival, and I'm joined by filmmaker Julia von Heinz. Hi, Fred. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for having me. So, um, the film is called And Tomorrow, The Entire World. Would you maybe like to say a few words or, um, you know, sentences about the film so that the listeners know a little bit about it? This is, of course, one of the first times that people will have the opportunity to see it, so... It's a film about a young woman who is joining the left-wing scene, the Antifa movement, mm. and she starts asking herself the questions whether violence can be a political mean again mm. against the rising fascism, and she also discovers that the group isn't what she thought when she first met all yeah. those people, and she is confronted with very difficult decisions. I want to, don't want to spoil, I wanted to go on. I think that's no, enough. I it's think, enough, yeah. Yeah, I think, I yeah. think people, uh, you know, yeah. don't need to know too much about it. Exactly. But it does speak to an anger that is out there, and yes. some people feel, including myself, and you were telling me before the interview, it's an anger that you feel as well, right? Yes, yes. So is the film something somehow representing the way that you deal uh, with the dilemma that you pointed out? I was very angry when I was young because in the 19, neo-fascism was something new. And uh, the first terrorist attacks, the first victims of neo-fascism were in the 90s when I was young and I was so angry then. Then sort of, it went calmer, it was better, but about three, four years ago, it totally came back. Yeah. And I really started to feel that old feelings again. And I said, I'm asking myself all those questions that I'm asking with that film, what can we do and how far do we have to go? Right, to stop I didn't it. find answers. Why did it come back though? Why did it come back, do you think? <sighs> People need easy answers. It's so complex, everything now. Mm. Migration, the capitalism is turbo quick now. Uh, rich and poor is drifting apart. The climate, it's so complex. Mm. And a lot of people are looking for very easy answers so they can calm down their own fear. Okay. And the right-wing people have those easy answers. They blame the weakest of the society. Yeah. yeah. You know, we were, talk we were just talking with uh, Mala, the, the lead actress of the film, and uh, she mentioned at the end that, uh, you know, the fact that uh, her character, the lead character of the film, uh, if we can say that, comes from a white privileged yeah. background was significant too. And I wondered whether you might say a few wh why that was significant. Yeah, that's something I observed. I, I didn't want to have that true when I was young. Mm -hmm. But if I would be honest, it's everybody who's active actually is quite privileged. All can leave that if they want. Right. They can choose to do it. But yes. yeah, and this sometimes gives them the pressure to prove they are serious. but. Also, it gives them the possibility to leave. to leave. So I wanted to talk about that. And it's also, I mean, it's very good. Whoever takes action, I embrace it. Yeah. Of course, we have to embrace it. But let's be real. Also, in the Black Lives Matter demonstrations, we see a lot of white people. And I think many black people don't dare to go to their demonstrations even because they think, oh, if I get confronted with the police, what will happen to me? It's much more dangerous for them. So it's often privileged people who yes. are in left wings demonstrations and organizations. I think it's good. I don't want to criti cr criticize it, but I want to talk about that. Yeah, no, I want, I, unfortunately, I think we're going to have to wrap it up soon, but I, there's so much that I wanted to, to ask you. <laughs> I'm just going to ask you a very like strong question yeah. to end it. Feel free to answer in whatever way you can. Do you think that making a film can be a revolutionary act? Revolutionary would be too much, but I think that films can change the way we see the world and so they can change the world. I discovered so much how much films can make the world a worse place. Right. Propaganda films, films that show immigrants as criminals, films that sexualize women and show them they have no own voice. So if films can do that, why shouldn't they be able to do the opposite? Yes. So I truly believe in it. Unfortunately, we have to wrap it up, but it's oh. been a pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you. This is Fred Film Radio, the festival insider.